The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known. Until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Come on, don't make me use cold water again. You do remember what today is, don't you? No, you idiot. You're getting married today, and Soros too. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride, Nessiara? She's here early. And who else are you going to marry? Besides, I already snuck a peek. She's beautiful. There's going to be music, decorations, feasting. Weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. All in good time, cousin. This is your day, not mine. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. <laughs> <laughs> 
So move it. Good morning, my son. It's your big day. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. Still not pleased, I can see. Of course we can talk. Tradition, child. With so little contact between alienages and so few chances to travel, you must trust your elders. The dowry has been paid, the Chantry has issued the permit, and everything is ready. All we need is you. There's a lot to arranging marriages. Probably the biggest factor is deciding which spouse travels to which alienage. One side gets new blood and a new face, and the other side loses a family member. The dowry helps to even things out. Just be glad I chose the match. Without parents to represent you, children like your cousin Soros end up marrying whoever the Elder can find. What other prospects are there here? Do you want to marry someone 15 years your senior? I thought not. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. <laughs> Still have your mother's smart mouth, I see. Oh, one last thing before you go, son. Your martial training, the swordplay, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Later. Mm. Definitely later. Well, we don't want to seem like troublemakers, after all. Adaya made that mistake. Our world is full of so many injustices. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on then, I still have some things to do and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? She lived in the sea. I didn't love her, but I think she loved me. I brought her diamonds. Well, it's around the eyes, mostly. I still don't see it. Whenever I look, I just see the mother. The mother was far more delicate. It's the same sort of note. The place is locked up that. tight. The breeding shows. Well, there you go again with the we're not fortunate, you know. But bloodlines are important, that's all I'm saying. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Are you insane? Where would you go? Into the woods to live with the Dela shelves? You're not thrilled? Apparently your bride's a dream come true. Mine sounds like a dying mouse. That's terrible. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. <laughs> Let go of me! Stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm! I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine. But let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? 
What's this? The two grooms come to welcome me personally. <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Varn Orion, the Earl of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I... I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. Pleased to meet you. Soros has said so much of you. <laughs> Some even positive. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble, Nessiara. We'll leave you two alone now. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I understand. My stomach was in knots the whole way here. Uneventful, thankfully. The trade caravan we accompanied had little of value. I think that kept the bandits away. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll hunt you down. <laughs> Don't look now, but we have another problem. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. Let's do this quickly. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. <laughs> what manner of unpleasantness might you be referring to? I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. And I refuse yet again. Now what? Surely it has not escaped your notice that I am both armed and armored. Any fight between us would be rather one-sided. I have no intention of leaving, unless you intend to force me to do so. Try not to die. I'll run for help. No need. I'm not here to fight you. Still, I find such bravery most impressive. Do you not agree, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. They are a great order of warriors, child, sworn to protect our world from the Darkspawn. But my question remains unanswered. Why are you here, Duncan? The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Kaelin summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later.
Oh, Saurus. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here. Fellow groom in tow. Good. I'm so pleased to finally do this. It looks like everyone's ready. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valendrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... My lord, this is <gasps> an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party, and uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! Ha! If you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies, that's all! <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and... Where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. What do we do? Ah, yes. The uppity runt that thinks he's worthy of speaking to me. Don't worry. I'll return whatever's left in time for the honeymoon. I live in fear. Back to the palace, boys. <laughs> took Shiani, Nessiara, Valora, and the rest of the women in the wedding party back to the palace. The Elder is talking to Duncan, that Grey Warden. Everyone is getting upset. Me neither. We should see if we can help. They're by the tree. Please, all of you, listen. I know you are upset and with good reason. There is nothing we can do right now. He's right. Running after them will just make matters worse. So we do nothing! They took my sister! They were taken to the Arles Palace, I suspect. Normally I'd counsel patients. Unfortunately, stories about the Arles' son and his appetites are most disturbing. But what can we do? We're talking about the Arl's palace. Even with the Arl and his knights gone, it'll be guarded. Elder, may I offer a suggestion? I work inside the palace. I could sneak one, perhaps two others in through the servants' entrance. Nobody will notice an extra pair of elves looking around. If anyone can get in and out alive, it's you. I hate to say it, but it's true. Your mother taught you well. You could do this with Thoris's help. For that, you will need weapons. Allow me to offer you my own longsword and bow. A man should be able to defend his loved ones properly. Then your path is set. I pray the Maker looks on it with favor. You're all insane! The guards will burn our homes down around us! Enough, Elva. You've had your say. They shall try. For their own honor and the honor of the women, we must trust in the Maker. I'll make sure the way is clear. When you're ready, meet me at the Alienage Gate. You must hurry to the palace.
Mother Boan. I'm afraid she became a bit uncomfortable after that fiend took the women. A few of our drunken wedding guests started threatening her, as she was the only unarmed human around. She's safe now, though. Don't let anger blind you. Vaughn may have taken our women, yes. But Duncan offered you help. People are more than just their appearance or ancestry. Please, dear boy, this is no time to argue about such a thing. You have very little time. Are you prepared for what you're about to do? You must tame your rage. An enraged fighter makes mistakes, perhaps fatal ones. Clarity of thought is the path to victory. They are my thoughts only. The Grey Wardens teach no single method of combat. Mages number amongst our ranks, as do archers and assassins and any number of swordsmen. His father is a decent enough man, but no friend to the Grey Wardens. Rumors say Vaughn is far too wild and a poor heir. I doubt that. If something happens to Vaughn, dire consequences are likely. And I wish you good luck. This is... overwhelming. She's always been bitter, but she has a point. If we mess this up, the others will suffer. My parents died in the last purge, about 20 years ago. Some human was killed by an elf down by the docks in a fistfight. By nightfall, an angry mob laid waste to the entire alienage. They burned our house to the ground and push my mother back inside when she tried to escape. So let's just be careful, all right? There's more at risk than just us. Agreed. Let's get moving. You made it. I sent word ahead to get the servant's entrance unlocked. Are you ready to go? I've got some things. You can change on the way. They'll never know what hit him. It's either you or me, and it isn't going to be me!
Let's get started. This is it. There's a guard posted inside, but he's usually drunk or asleep. I don't know. They'll be entertaining Vaughn and his men, I imagine. He might be in his quarters, the north side of the palace. Maybe, but don't think every elf you see is your friend. Plenty of bootlicks would sound the alarm for a pat on the head. Good luck. Keep your wits about you. Sound the alarm! I don't know if I can do this, cousin. Right. Let's get started. You there! Who are you? Speak quick, worms, before I call the guards and they clip your nasty ears. You're bandits, rebels, outlaws! The guards will make quick work of you- Oh! You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. They took the women you're looking for to Lord Vaughn's quarters. You should hurry. He's not known for his kindness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. Where did you get a weapon, elf? Uh-oh. You better talk quick, scum. This should be easy enough. One less elf breeder in the world. A shame, though. Nice body on that one. She's still warm. How picky are you, anyway? Shut it, you two. We've got company. You just walked into the wrong room. You know how this works, boys. No witnesses. This should be easy. <laughs>
mission is out here for few. They, they killed her. I can't believe this. Then we should hurry. A few moments could make the difference. We should try to be quiet. think you have a chance. Let's get started. This should be easy enough. Ah. Armed and dangerous, ready for action. They'll never know what hit us.
This should be easy. As you wish. My, my. What have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? All right. Let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. Please, just... get me out of here. I want to go home. Think for a minute. Kill me and you ruin more lives than just your own. By dawn, the city will run red with elven blood. Think about it. You know how this ends. Or we could talk this through. Now that you have my undivided attention. Here's our situation. You are skilled, obviously. We fight here. Perhaps you could even manage to kill us. My father won't let that go. Your pigsty of an alienage will be burned to the ground. Or you turn and walk away. With 40 sovereigns added to your purses. You take that money and leave Denerim tonight. No repercussions. And you can go wherever you like. The women stay. They'll go home tomorrow. Slightly worse for wear. And you'll be long gone. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Ta! I always regret talking to knife ears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead.
Tell me we did the right thing, cousin. I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. D don't leave me alone. Please. Please take me home. <laughs> so much blood. I can't stand to look at it. It's everywhere. You killed them, didn't you? You killed them all? Good. Good. Uh, uh. Is she going to be all right? Shiani's strong. She'll recover. I'll take the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? Nola didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> they killed her. I see. Would you ladies please take Shiani home? She needs rest. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? Then the garrison could already be on their way. You have little time. Oh, that it has come to this. The guards are here! Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. I seek Valendrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. Uh, here, Captain. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, elder. You will not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. You expect me to believe one man did all of that? We are not all so helpless, Captain. You save many by coming forward. I don't envy your fate, but I applaud your courage. This elf will wait in the dungeon until the Arl returns. The rest of you, back to your houses. Captain, a word if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this prisoner into my custody. Son of a tight down. Very well, Grey Warden. I cannot challenge your rights, but I'll ask one thing. Get this elf out of the city today. Agreed. Now I need to get my men on the streets before this news hits. Move out! You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. For the moment, they are fine. There are far more important matters arising that endanger more than just your people. I needed a Grey Warden and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. Now quickly, say your goodbyes. Your life here is over. Well, I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. Indeed. It only saddens me that it has taken this for you to find it. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people.
Goodbye, young one. And make her keep you. Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. As you always do. Well, I'd like to follow your example. No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Your father had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. I just wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry this isn't helping. Take care, my son. Be strong and wise and... Well, you know, we'll all miss you. There you are. Nesyara, your betrothed has returned. I'll be right there! Thank you. For me, for Saurus, for everything. I'll never be able to repay you. Well, I'll leave you two alone. Thank you, Valora. What happens now? Your father said you're becoming a Grey Warden. You're leaving, aren't you? I can't imagine a more noble calling. I just wish... I'll be alright. Maybe Valora and I will start a business. I guess we'll never know what might have been. Your friend is waiting. Be safe out there. You took all the responsibility for what happened. You're amazing, you know that? I'm all right. As far as the others know, Vaughn just roughed me up a bit. I just don't want them treating me like some fragile doll. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Make us proud out there. Make her watch over you. Let's get started. Are you ready to go? Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. <laughs> 